Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7.2. We are here with the Starry Skies pack today with Kuma, Willow, and Spirit as they are watching over the little puppies and we're just about to leave the den. In fact, we're going to go ahead, we're going to stay at the den for just a minute here and we have to make it night because we are still under the Sorrow of the Storm slash Sorrow of the Skies event. You guys are right, I have been switching between the two names and so you can call the Sorrow of the Storms or the Sorrow of the Skies whichever one you feel is most accurate it for the current event that we're under where it has to remain night until one of our heirs of the starry skies pack falls in love during the rain oh that's just like that bear night watch that bear just like literally appeared out of thin air to come for you child um no no oh my gosh night watch move oh my gosh <laughs> He just appeared out of nowhere, did I? Okay, so we we earned a couple ancestor blessings from chasing grizzly bears away, but not for that one. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we're a little bit closer now. All right, let's go ahead and feed the puppies, and then we're actually going to fill up on food, and we're going to try to chase down an elk or two before we leave for the summer hunting ground because, oh my gosh, there's some hungry puppies, and we do have a lot of challenges for this current, and let's give it a little howl because I think Spirit would be like, excuse you, the puppies do not look fully trained. They're not keeping all their toes and paws inside of the den. Give them a howl, Dad. Oh my goodness, what a way to start the day. All right, or I should say the night. Hey, Willow, don't worry. We took care of the bear. No need to no need to be frantic here. All right, and we'll go down and get a little bit of food. Then we'll turn around. Well, we need to heal too. Bakuma's like a tank, isn't he? When he gets attacked by a bear or something, he just keeps going. Whew. But yes, we do have several special events in mind for the Starry Skies pack this time around. With this little litter, the Strength of Young Wolves litter, come on Willow, we do need to chase off six eagles. Or I think it's like five or six eagles. I'll have to double check my notes. My apologies. It's been very busy running around everywhere. Come on, come on. Let's get enough food for the pups. Here we go. But yeah, it has been very busy in real life. Just to update you guys, we are moving. I am currently in... Oh, that's a bear! Wow, there's so many bears! Maybe we'll get some more ancestor blessings. Are the bears coming back to the mountain? Is that is that what's going on? They're coming back to the, the little mountain and we're going to have to chase everybody off. Oh, we chased them away! Yes! Yes, that's two bears down. Two bears, just two more, and we will be able to get another ancestor blessing. Kuma, your special abilities and powers are finally being put to use. That's fantastic. Let's go pee on things to celebrate and also to keep another stranger wolf from invading our den. But yes, just a really quick little real life update, you guys. I am actually speaking to you guys from a totally new place than normal. It is not my new house, though. We are, I'm speaking to you from a office in our old apartment in North Carolina, where my wonderful chips, my beloved boyfriend, partner, best friend, and adventurer and, like, companion, uh, had his office, and we are now sharing one fold-out table. So I apologize for the lack of our daily wolf quest, because we are still having this Summer of the Wolves event, which means daily wolf quest, but it will be a little bit before we get settled at our new home in Michigan. So if we miss a day or two here and there, do not fret. We will hopefully be having daily wolf quest all the way through August. And as you guys know, I'm a little bit susceptible to when you beg and ask for daily wolf quests and leave likes and actually watch. And then I know, okay, they still want it. So I'm not promising anything for September, like some sort of September wolf quest. I know for sure, Willow, hello, beautiful Willow. I know for sure I would love to have another Christmas special with wolves and wolf quest. And it would be really fun if we could see if perhaps our wonderful Eclipse might be able to host all sorts of special, like, 12 days of wolf quest or something the, your christmas days of wolf quest i think that would be really fun but that is looking far into the distance and far down the generations for now we're going to focus on taking care of these pups i'm going to feed them up a little bit more and then we're going to go see if we can chase a couple elk towards the summer hunting grounds and spirit today has been a little bit distracted because he is really on top of his toes trying to keep these wolf pet pups in line because they're getting very eager. They're getting big enough that they really want to start heading out on adventures. They want to start going with their mom and dad. They want to start exploring. And Spirit's a very friendly but extremely cautious and observant wolf, so he's trying very hard to keep them corralled around the den. Oh, what's that? <gasps> it's a coyote! Oh, we have to chase him away! Sorry, Coyote, but we're getting ready for the summer hunting ground, and that means that you are a threat. 
All right, we took him down. I always feel a little bit bad when we do that, and we'll give a little howl. So Spirit, our companion cousin, the wolf that you can't see, but for story's sake, we are saying he is with our pups and taking care of them. Give a little howl for Spirit so he knows that we're there. And then we'll go ahead and eat up, and then we'll see if we can find some elk and chase at least one or two more elk towards the summer hunting ground. Because as things stand right now, with the additional challenge of having to either earn or lose an ancestor blessing by chasing off, I think it is five eagles, I don't know if we'll be able to make it with just those elk. So let's see if we can, oh, well, <laughs> we found them. We found the elk, you guys. All right. Ah, oh, geez. All right. Come on, Willow. We're going to chase them across the river. All right. That's a really weakened cow elk. I like her. Man, look at these grasses. They're just so beautiful. Let's do this, Willow. She is so fast, but that has actually caused us a few problems when it comes to trying to do some companion hunting. All right, we've got this, Willow. Because sometimes she gets ahead of us and takes the elk to places we didn't exactly want, but we'll have to see if we are going to have more luck this time around. Not bad, except then Kuma fell in a hole and got stuck. <laughs> Kuma, that's so you! Okay, let's wait. And let's sneak up on this one. We've got her. We've got her. Oh man, she's really good at sensing us. All right, and she's headed towards the summer hunting ground, so that's good. And we're going to try to take a new path to the summer hunting ground, actually. She is so fast. Oh my gosh, but at least she's, yes, in the hole. She's stuck. Good, the traditional elk, elk catching hole. No, now it caught us. All right, and let's turn a little bit. I think I need to pull Willow off for just a second. Yeah, she was starting to chase her too far again. And then I actually need to come up here. All right, where'd that elk go? There she is. Come on. There we go. Oh, she's getting really weak, you guys. We should be able to get her. A few bites, not in the water, please. Get out of the water. No, get out of the water. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, just one more. Yes, all right. We will have some food on the way to the summer hunting grounds, my friends. This is extremely important. All right, look at those ribs. Good job, Willow. Good job. Well, I would not say, and I would love to hear your guys' opinion, I would not say that Willow and Kuma are the best fighters when it comes, or hunters, I should say. Kuma really is like a tank when it comes to taking on uh, any of the, <laughs> any of the predators, at least. He doesn't seem to know what to do with an elk since Kuma has died once before, and we did have to use an ancestor blessing, reviving him after he got in a fight with a bull elk that was entirely unexpected and somehow entirely fitting. He reminds me immensely of his grandpa Atlas and a little bit of his great-great-grandmother, Rain. I'm not sure how many greats should be included in there. But do you guys remember how Rain also started off somewhat goofy, reminding us of Atlas? She was very simple. She really loved to play with uh, the rabbits and she collected lucky rabbits feet all the time. And then she turned into a very complex, very uh, wonderful mother. I really love remembering Rain. She was quite fascinating. And it will be really fun to see if any of the future generations of wolves will include any of those ancestors who have passed away and will have a chance to be reborn. I'm still figuring out the details of how to do that. I love your guys' opinions on that. But for now, we're just going to focus on the survival of the wolves and the very tough, gritty life that they live out here. All right, let's make sure. Is there anything coming at the den? Spirit, have you defended the den all right? Is there anything standing above our puppies, ready to eat them? No. All right, good. All right. I have a feeling Spirit, like, tries to keep them all lined up just so. All right, little ones. I think we can maybe get started on moving out. And I think because Spirit is a little bit concerned about the puppies and a little bit concerned about making sure the den site is extra secure and he's very observant and has, may have noticed some things, you guys need to go down and look in the video description below puppies spirit is not going to be happy if you're like wandering around like that oh gosh and our, our like territory markers are super low so i could see how spirit would be very worried about that too so let's go get a little bit more food i'm gonna pee on a couple of things really quickly i'm gonna get a little bit more food just so our puppies are fully stocked up and we have food in our stomachs and then we will start the journey 
but you guys need to check the video description below because I do believe Spirit is going to be a little bit concerned about leaving the den site and just wanting to make sure everything is extra safe and that everything is secure before they have the den at their back. So, we'll have to see what Spirit decides on. Remember, he is a very observant, he is a very cautious wolf. So it makes sense that he would kind of start sniffing around, especially... Ah, oh, there's another coyote! We gotta get rid of it! We've gotta get rid of it! Because this coyote will actually stick around once we start moving with our puppies. Alright, gotta get rid of this coyote. Come here, you! Alright, there's one. There's two. There's three. There we go. Alright. And then we're going to run over and let's get a little bit more food. But yes, you guys, so don't forget that somehow Kuma has angered an eagle. And I'm going to say that he chased an elk. Maybe one of those elk that just appeared out of thin air. I'm going to say that he actually chased an elk into a tree and knocked down an eagle nest and has brought upon the wrath of some eagles. And so we will have some eels that will be coming and trying to chase down our puppies and gather up our wolf pups to feed to their eaglets, their little babies. So we're going to have to try to make sure our puppies don't get snatched up by those eagles because of Kuma's accident. And they wouldn't be very forgiving because destroying a nest like that, that was a lot of hard work. Have you ever seen how big an eagle nest is? A bald eagle nest is huge. A human can lay down in it just fine. It's gigantic. It takes years to build. So destroying a nest like that, even, even on accident because you're a goofy wolf descendant of Atlas, is not going to be well received. All right, let's climb up. Anything up here? I won't lie. I was kind of hoping for bears. But I think we're ready to go, you guys. So let's go ahead and feed the babies one last time. They're just going to get hungry. All right, Sky, we're going to feed you. There we go. Oh, Sky, apparently, Sky is mom's favorite. Did you see that? So Willow has finally started displaying like who some of her favorites may be. Usagi is with us. Nightwatch is with us. All right, you guys ready to go? Let's give it a good howl. And then Spirit is going to be with us, bringing up the back. So Spirit is going to have a chance to perhaps chase off some eagles of his own. He is going to have a chance to maybe earn an Ancestor Blessing. He's going to have a chance to maybe spend an Ancestor Blessing. And there we go. All right, little wolf pups. Come along, the final journey has begun. Oh, yeah, look at that. Willow has brought Sky to us. I think we know who, who's Willow's favorite puppy. Oh, and Usagi. Oh, she's so playful. Usagi has one of the most playful personalities I've seen. And it's gotten her killed before because of coyotes. All right, and the journey begins, you guys. I'm actually quite surprised. I'm not going to lie. Oops, nope. I didn't mean to lay down. Sky, what are you doing? <laughs> and Sky is just gliding. She doesn't want to walk. She's just sliding down. But I am actually quite surprised that we still have all of the puppies because it's been a little bit of... A little bit of a run to get them all here. All right, come on, little ones. I think I was going down a, a steep, steep slope that was too steep for you, so we'll go this way. All right, and we'll see if we can bring them down. But Kuma and Willow have actually gathered quite a bit of experience for the Starry Skies pack. As a result, all right, Night Watch is being fed. As a result of all of the hunting and taking care of their first litter. So they really have gone from pretty much no experience to a little bit of experience. And it's always very interesting to see how each litter... There's Nightwatch. So Nightwatch and Sky. Usagi, Clover, come on. I wonder if it's the ones that look like her. Willow, Willow seems to be a little bit more affiliated with the Grey Wolves. So we'll see how that works out. Oh, jeez. It's still, it's still really cheerful, and it's still... All right, well, we're doing this. Oh, and I, I'm supposed to roll again. Okay, hang on one second. And... Okay. One, two... Okay, so it changed to challenging. So we actually got it to be a little bit easier. Well, actually, wouldn't it be arduous? It's arduous right again! Because what happens is every time we switch from, like, uh, spring, or every time we switch from winter to spring, we change the challenge level, and every time we switch from, like, uh, spring to puppies moving on the summer hunting grounds, we switch the challenge levels up. And in the future, when we are not under the Star of the Sky slash Storms event, we will actually be changing the time of day. So I just rolled again, and it rolled three, so it's bring it on, pretty easy, challenging, so technically it would be easier 
now uh, if we were playing normally, but because we're playing with Kuma, he always plays on one difficulty level higher to balance out the fact that he earned so many ancestor blessings from the bears. So we'll have to see what happens. All right, come on, Kuma. Remember, you have little puppies with little puppy legs. All right, and they're coming on down. We should probably head towards that elk, actually. Maybe. Oh, geez, they just, like, clustered up around us. All right, so we're getting our way down to the bottom of the mountain. Hopefully everything will be okay. We still have Usagi bringing up the bat. Clover Sky and Night Watch are coming down. And Spirit is up at the den getting ready. So he's just making sure that our, our back is clear and that it's safe. Willow is gathering up some food. I'm sort of stunned we haven't been attacked yet. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth though, or gift elk I suppose you could say. Usagi, there you are. Your mother does love you. <laughs> oh dear. And then we're gonna see if we can manage to work our way towards the summer hunting grounds, but we do have to chase off, I think it's like five eagles. So I'm gonna double check my notes to see how many eagles it is. But normally we would have had like three or four by now. So maybe because it's night, things are a little easier. But I'm going to stop talking about how it's easier now. And I will see you guys next time. And I will look forward to seeing what you've decided Spirit is going to do for our little wolf pack. So the stories are advancing and continuing. They're going to continue to get more and more interesting as time goes on. And we have more challenges. We have more opportunities because don't forget, you guys, we're going to start doing some side stories and side challenges with the surviving wolf pups, even if they are not going to be our future heir. So if everybody survives, you guys might pick, oh, hey, let's go see what Clover wants to do at Amethyst Mountain. Let's go see what Usagi wants to do over at Lost River. And we might go and do those things. Usagi, Usagi, Usagi. It's not a rabbit Usagi. <laughs> not a bunny Usagi. Not a bunny. This is a bad friend. This is a strange coyote. You don't want to go near him. Okay. And now it's starting to feel more like a trip to the summer hunting grounds. And our puppies are starting to get hungry. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to vote on what Spirit is doing up at the den before we leave it for good. So he's making sure maybe the scent of that stranger wolf is gone. All right. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. <laughs>